All right, guys, welcome back to the Olympia Suits with another undervolting tutorial. Today, we are undervolting this RX 5700 XT by AMD, and it's a reference model. Now, for this tutorial, you will need two softwares, MS Afterburner, okay, and Heaven Benchmark. They will both be linked down in the description. You wanna open up Heaven Benchmark, the one in the background, in a windowed mode, and then open up MS Afterburner on top of it. At this point, you wanna go on settings and enable voltage control and voltage monitoring. Hit OK, and now you will see your voltage right here. And now we can get started with the actual undervolt. This will indeed grant you uh, better performance, lower temperature, and lower power consumption. So you wanna go on Curve Editor right there, open it up. And now at this point, I will give you two different profiles plus a couple of extra tips in case you wanna fine tune your personal undervolt. The first profile is the one I recommend for most of you guys and it's gonna give you the biggest decrease in temperature, decrease in power consumption and decrease in noise. So I really do recommend this one. So what you wanna do is go over the over here, okay? And grab this point, okay? It's a bit difficult to grab, but you can do it. And now it will start from 2100. You wanna bring it down all the way to around 1900. In my case, 1909, but whatever, around 1900 is fine. Now, you wanna go grab the second point right here and bring it down until on the left, we are at 1000, around 1000. So in my case, for example, 1008 uh, is fine. At this point, you wanna hit apply and your undervolt is actually already applied, so you could close this tutorial right here and uh, just have your card working perfectly. But in case you wanna stay, I will give you a couple extra tips and another profile. Of course, after you've done this, you wanna save your profile in Afterburner and enable Afterburner to start with Windows and to start minimize. This way you can keep the profile running. Uh, but anyways, after this, if you wanna give it a bit extra performance, you might wanna unlock the power limit completely. Now you might be saying, hey, I wanna lower my power and power consumption. Why are we increasing the power limit? It's because the card will not go all the time at plus 50. It will just be allowed to. So it will not throttle. So that's gonna uh, increase the smoothness of your games. So I do recommend doing this all the time. Now, if you wanna get a bit extra free performance, you can slightly overclock the memory. So you can go over here and just set it to 1800. This will give you a slight Performance increase with no downsides, without damaging the card, and basically for free. So I do recommend this one as well. This is how I personally run my card, so I would recommend it for you. Now, in case you want to make a profile that is a bit better performing than this one, uh, you have to tune those values on the curve editor a bit differently, okay? So, the sweet spot for maximum performance is plus 50 on the power limit, and then you wanna set the voltage instead of 1000 to 1100, as you can see right there on the left, 1100 right there. And then you wanna get this one, and with this one you can basically go as high as you want until your card is stable. So for example, for most cars, this will work at around 1100 and 2000 megahertz. So let me apply it. And as you can see, this is working for me. It's giving me a bit extra performance right here. But you can bring this line up as much as you want by 50 megahertz uh, at a time uh, until it's stable. As long as it is stable, you can keep doing this and it will work fine. Uh, so for example, uh, what I would recommend you, uh, if you want maximum performance, is to go to 2050. I find that is the sweet spot for maximum performance, as you can see, 2050, okay, in my case 2040, but around there, with 1100, with the power limit as plus 50, and with memory clock at 1800. Let me apply it. This, for my card, doesn't work, as you can see, so it just crashed. Now, if your card crashes, the screen will go black and then it will come back. It's nothing to worry about. As you can see, the benchmark closed. You can just reset it. I wanted to show you the crash so you can um, not worry about it. If it crashes, to get it stable, you need to lower the megahertz or if you want to keep the same megahertz, you want to increase the voltage. Uh, the higher the megahertz, the higher the performance, the lower the voltage, the lower the temperature and the lower the power consumption. It's pretty simple. You can fine tune it for yourself my personal recommendations, if you don't want to think about it, is 1900 with one volt, 
or 2000 MHz with 1.1 volt with 1800 MHz memory clock with plus 50 power limit. So if this video was helpful, please drop a like and a sub. I have many more undervolt tutorials for CPUs, GPUs from every vendor, every model. And this tutorial will also work for the RX 5600 XT, 5600, basically every RX 5000 series card. So maybe share it with your friend. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.